So today, we're going to practice counting up in steps of 10. But before we start, which number do we have represented here? We have 1, 10 and 3 units, so we have the number 13. So on a 100 square, I can find 13. Now, I'm going to keep on adding 10 to 13, and I want you to notice which digit changes and which digit stays the same. And I also want you to notice where we move on our 100 square. So 10 more gives us 23. Another 10 gives us 33. And you can probably notice the pattern, so count with me as we add more tens. So we have 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93, and if we add a line to our 100 square so that we can go above 100, we then have 103. So we can push those tens together so that we have 100, no tens, and 3 units, which is why we write the number 103, 1, 0, 3. So let's practice counting up in steps of 10. Pause the video and see if you can count on from 6, 16, 26. We have 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, and 96. Now which number is represented here? We have 100, no tens, or zero tens, and four units, so we have the number 104. So I've added a line to a 100 square and circled 104. Now if we break up our 100 into 10 tens, we can count back in steps of 10, taking away 10 each time. So we start with 104. If we take away 10, we have 94, so we've moved up one place on our 100 square. Take away another 10, and we have 84. And now I'm sure you can spot the pattern, so let's practice counting back in steps of 10 together. Next we have 74, 64, 54, 44, 34, 24, 14, and 4. Now pause the video and see if you can count back in steps of 10 from 95. So we have 95, 85, 75, 65, 55, 45, 35, 25, 15, and 5. 